In this video, we're going to look at everything you need to know to counter Rengar. So first off, what does Rengar do? Rengar is an assassin focused on easily one-shotting split targets. He is designed to jump in and out of combat, ideally fighting in the jungle where he can utilise his passive. He's extremely slippery and has multiple effective cooldowns to escape after he does the job. He also has very efficient split push capabilities as he can easily escape with his ultimate. Honing in on that, his strengths include his huge snowball potential, the fact he's a cooldown based champion who isn't restricted by mana or energy, his unconventional gank paths due to his brush passive and stealth ultimate, and finally Rengar has a very high skill ceiling. If you're a mechanical player, the champion's limits are endless. Now onto his weaknesses, he's significantly less effective when teams group up against him. He can be focused down quickly if he fails his combos, he's very vulnerable in the jungle early on, and if he's put behind he can struggle to catch back up, and finally, he's very difficult to learn. If you're interested in learning more about Rengar or any other champion, then head on over to the Mobletics website where you can see everything you need to know including builds, combos, pro builds, tips and more. We're going to dive in specifically how to counter Rengar, but first here's an overview of the major tips that we'll be breaking down further in this video. First is to stay away from lane or jungle brushes. Rengar's best route to gank before 6 is through lane brushes. Next is to use control wards and oracle lens to prevent his gap closer passive or ultimate. Time your hard CC correctly to avoid him escaping with his empowered W. Save your movement cooldowns for his empowered E as the 1.75 second route is very punishing. And finally, if he has jumped on you and missed his combo, turn and focus him down. If he isn't near a brush, he becomes extremely vulnerable. If you're going into a game against Rengar, there's a solid basis to remember and will help you be successful. It's always good to think about when a champion is strongest or weakest. Rengar is strongest in the mid game due to his insane ganking potential at that time. He also has a huge spike in damage and utility, especially with high ability haste. Rango is weakest during the early game, particularly when the enemy team looks to invade him. Fast clearing skirmishing junglers can really ruin his day. He also struggles in team fights late game if the enemy team groups up to defend their backline. When facing up against Rango in the early game, it's critical that you avoid brushes at all costs. Ward them so you can attack him while he's hiding, or just stay away from them so he can't use his passive. You should try to punish him when his ferocity is out as he is very vulnerable when his abilities are on cooldown. Once Rango has his ultimate, deep ward camps and jungle routes near your lane to predict when he's going to gank. If you know when he's coming and fall back, his ultimate will be wasted and his ganking effectiveness will suffer significantly. In the mid game is where Rengar thrives the most. At this point he should have a bunch of damage and ability haste and will be looking to snowball a lead. You want to plan around him and prevent him from getting a catch on you. Stay defensive when he's off the map, group up with teammates when you can and try to catch him rotating before he can set up. Look to abuse his downtime. Force fights or objectives when his ultimate is on cooldown. Rengar will not be able to join the fights if his ult is down and you aren't near a brush. Perfect time to secure that dragon. Vision is critical. Look to deep ward jungle camps, lane bushes and objectives. The more often you know where he is, the more you can avoid him and farm up to get to the late game where he is less impactful. However, remember to group up before you go on a warden mission, and isolated support is often easy prey for Rengar. Moving into the late game, Rengar is still a threat if you can find isolated targets. Never be alone and always stick with your teammates. This is especially true if you're playing a fragile role such as AD or AP carry. Stay in open lanes and not near brushes, so that if he does come to kill you, his chances of escape are significantly lowered. Build items to prevent him taking you out of the games. Stopwatch and Zonyas are the most effective if you time them right, Guardian Angel is another safe bet. Finally, as soon as Rengar does reveal himself, look to punish him. Rengar is fragile late game and despite being slippery, he can be bursted immediately after his ultimate is down. Capitalise on that by forcing objectives and taking control of the game when he's dead. We did talk a little bit earlier already about itemization, but let's expand on exactly what you should be building to help deal with Rengar. Firstly, Zonyas Hourglass or Stopwatch. If you time this right, you can survive his burst with a short immunity, and then you and your teammates can look to punish him. Next, Guardian's Angel. It provides a good chunk of armor, and if he does manage to assassinate you, you have another chance. In the worst case scenario where you go down again, it at least can stall time and allow your team to catch up and look to punish him. Steric Gauge and Immortal Shield Bow are both powerful thanks to their shields, which proc when you go low on HP. They help to nullify his burst window and give you more of a chance to take him out. Edge of Night or Banshee's Veil are both useful as they can prevent his empowered E roots from catching you out with a passive effect from these items. Finally, Oracle Lens and Control Wards. They can reveal his camouflage and help you catch him before he jumps on you. That wraps everything up for our Rengar counter video. If you enjoyed this video then you can find more counter videos on our website or in the playlist link below and be sure to subscribe to be alerted for when we cover a new champion. Thanks for watching and we look forward to seeing you again.